Welcome back to Art with Mrs. Bowie. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we're going to learn how to draw pandas. If you didn't get a chance to listen to the Panda Love Read Aloud, go ahead and stop this video and go and listen to the Panda Love video first. And if you have, I'm going to go ahead and show you what real pandas look like. So you may have seen pandas from Kung Fu Panda. I've seen that in the sequel as well. But these are real pandas over here. So um, these, they eat bamboo. Their main colors are black and white. And we will be painting pandas today. So... Um, and the ones that we're going to be doing are going to look like the ones from the book Panda Love. So we'll be using sh um, basic circles, basic circles, and we'll also be painting. If you don't have watercolors at home, you don't have to use watercolors. You can just use crayons. But if you do have watercolors, I would definitely recommend using them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to draw two of them because there's two pandas. There's one named Dot, a little girl named Dot, and a boy named Bo. So I'm going to draw two circles or two ovals. So one, two. And then their bodies are kind of like that. They're big and fluffy. So now I'm going to do their ears. One, two, one, two, and then I'm going to do their eyes. So they have circles there and then another circle on the inside. And then believe it or not, they have another little circle on the inside, so. And then they have a nose each, and they also have a little smile. Now, Bo is the boy panda, so he'll have a little bow tie. And then Dot is the girl panda, so she actually has a little bow in her hair, or by her ear. And then their arms are very basic, so that's how they do, oops. Actually, you know what, they're holding hands. And here, if you see I'm erasing, um, I make mistakes too. And that's why we start off in pencil first because I forgot that they're holding hands. So if they're holding hands, it'll be like that. And then, here we go. And the ones, the panda, the pandas and panda love, they have these short little legs right here. And, you'll do these straight lines right here. So everything I did on one, I did on the other, except for the bows are just in different spots. So now, after I do that, I'm actually going to get a black crayon, and I'm going to trace over everything I did in pencil, but I'm gonna trace it in black. And this will help make everything um, be, um, more visible, so that means that you'll be able to see it better. So everything except for the bows, I'm not going to trace the bows. And you need to do this in crayon and not a marker because if you're going to paint, the paint will make your marker bleed, or that means that it, your marker will start to almost act like a watercolor. Okay. So now, here comes the fun part. I'm going to use my watercolors, and I'm mainly just using black. Um, they actually have some rosy cheeks, but we're not going to draw those in. We're just going to use our, um, we're just going to use our paintbrush to add that in. So I'm going to, to use your watercolors. You're gonna dip your paint in some, you're gonna dip your brush in some water, and then you'll put it onto, you'll put your brush where the paint is. 
So now I'm going to just paint where, so their arms and their middle section are black. So that part I'm going to paint black. Their legs are also black. So this part right here is white on them. This part around their eyes is black. Almost like a raccoon. Their ears are also black. Oops, and then I actually traced that in a black crayon. I wanted to do that in a blue crayon, but I will um, do hers in a different color. Okay, and it's okay. If, like I said, I don't expect you to be perfect, but um, I do expect you to try your best. And then we're going to do just a little rosy cheek because both of them have rosy cheeks in the book. Both of them. Okay, and then um, I'm also going to do their nose. I forgot. Their noses. And then with this, I can do, whoopsies, wrong one. Her bow. And then I will do his bow tie in a blue. So that is your Panda Love watercolor. Um, it makes me really happy to see something like this. And I can't wait to see your art. So again, your art doesn't have to be perfect. But I do want you to try your best. So Panda Love. And I will see your work in Seesaw.